Well, we know the summertime can bring around some uninvited critters, but if you live in the city, have you ever had to worry about a javelina showing up in your backyard? Yeah, those who live in the Lindale neighborhood certainly have. Our Madeline Salinas spoke to one woman who says that her dog was the victim of a javelina. Madeline joins us now in studio with more. That's right, you guys. An unexpected and unwelcome guest made its way onto a Lindale residence property. I spoke with the homeowner about her family's experience with the dangerous javelina. Unless you live on the outskirts of town, you're probably not going to be seeing a javelina in your backyard. But for Katrina Heck's family, their reality was a bit different. My aunt lives in the country. She immediately knew it was a javelina. My daughter just thought it was a pig, like somebody's pet pig. An unexpected visitor had made their way into Katrina's Hex fence. Hex's daughter took this video showing one of their dogs trying to get away from the javelina. Oh, that's not funny. Bailey, come Bailey, here! Come here! Bailey! So they just let the dogs out like normal, and they heard Callie, the brown dog. She was, again, not on video. My aunt heard her well. Bailey wasn't injured, but Callie, Hex's smaller brown dog, ended up needing surgery. The javelina had made a hole in their chain-linked fence and was able to seriously injure her. Nearly perforated her stomach because, you know, the javelinas do have the bores and it bored her pretty bad. Heck called game wardens to come and see if they could find the wild pig, but they had no luck. They did not see anything, but there were sightings at 8 p.m. further down Sorrel of the javelina at 8 p.m. last night. While her dog Callie is okay, Heck still worries about others in the neighborhood. The neighbor behind us, they have smaller children. I mean, they could have very well been outside playing when that animal was mm -hmm. in their backyard. While it's important to keep your pets safe, it's also important to know what to do if you ever unexpectedly cross paths with a dangerous animal like a javelina. You know, something to consider there with javelinas or any animal is to get a, a barrier in between the danger and you or your pet. You know, using something like a outdoor tool if you're in the yard. Or we contacted Corpus Christi Animal Care Services and they said, quote, we asked the public to be aware that javelinas are quite adapted to living in an urban environment like our community and to never approach one as they can be aggressive. They also said that if you see a javelina to call the game warden's office. Leslie, Mike. All right, Madeline, thanks for tracking all that down for us. We appreciate it.